Here's a quick video to get you going on FT8 with your FT991. Stay tuned. The FT991A has about a dozen settings that you need to check to get you going on FT8. So let's check them out. First off, let's scroll on up to 31. Real quick, cat rate, I've got it at 9600 baud's. Your mileage may vary. Try it out. Make sure it matches your software. Item 32, 100 milliseconds. Notice that these are not the default settings. 10 milliseconds is default. We're going to put in 100 milliseconds. Next one, 33, CAT RTS. I had to set this one to disabled. Everything online said enabled, but that didn't work for me. Number 62. Data mode, others. Number 64. Set to 1500. Number 65, also other shift, 1500 hertz. Number 65, also 1500 hertz. 66 data low cut frequency turn that one off as well as 68 high cut frequency turn that one off as well 70 data in select is going to be rear now i'm using a usb cable and what's cool about the ft991a you don't have to worry about audio cables anymore 71. Push to talk, put it on DAKY, and 72. Data port select USB, and that's for the USB cable. With all that done, jump back to your menu option. On your menu option, turn all the filtering off. So that means notch off, contour off. DNR off, DNF off, shift at zero, and the width, I prefer to wind that thing up to 3000. But 24 is fine as well. DT gain, start that off low, mine's at 18. And you can see I've got the ALC meter over here, so I can monitor how much I'm pushing when it does its transmit. Okay, so there you have it, really quick. There's about 11 settings in the menu that you need to check. On the different menu options, there are eight settings that you should review. And don't forget your data mode, a data USB upper sideband. I'm using a Mac. I run a command to synchronize my time before I start WSJTX. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck.